Good morning. Here are the day's top five stories from the Miami Herald for Friday, September 3rd through the holiday weekend. First, the weather, the familiar summer like pattern of afternoon storms and highs around 90 will continue through the holiday weekend. Let's get things started in Surfside. The judge overseeing the fate of the Champlain Towers South property said he would consider a land swap proposal. The deal would accommodate an on site memorial to victims of the June 24 condo collapse. But he would only allow it if the town of Surfside agrees to relocate its existing community center to make way for a new luxury condo tower. The idea would see a new community center built alongside the memorial. It has the support of some of the family members who lost loved ones in the collapse. But it may not be going anywhere. Most Surfside commissioners have come out against the proposal. One called it delusional to consider tearing down the town's beloved civic center. In food news, Paradise Books and Bread is the creation of five friends who left New York. Three are graduates of St. Thomas Aquinas High in Fort Lauderdale. Their space indulges their passion for food, wine, books, baking and politics. Such spaces are common in Brooklyn and other New York neighborhoods, less so in North Miami. At Paradise Books and Bread, you'll find a cafe, wine bar and bookstore. A small menu features pizza by the slice, spreads, tins of sardines, mussels and squid and bar snacks. The bread is baked fresh daily. The team has more plans for the space, maybe a film night or pop-up Asian dinners. Paradise is at Northeast 128th Street and West Dixie Highway. Find more information at pbb.cafe. In Miami Beach, an affordable housing project is coming to the Normandy Isles Historic District, and it will cater exclusively to seniors. The pink and white four-story development is slated for Marseille Drive. That's according to an application submitted to the City of Miami Beach Design Review Board by the city's housing authority. The project would replace an existing single-story building with four occupied rental units. In sports, in a new Dolphins In-Depth podcast, Barry Jackson and Daniel Oifesi of the Miami Herald discuss the team's decisions in cutting the roster to 53. They evaluate every position and the team's personnel choices. They also give their take on the Deshaun Watson trade chatter. Tua Tagovailoa and whether Watson is even worth pursuing. Find Dolphins in depth wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And finally, Bunny Cakes was a vegan bakery housed in a little pink building near Wynwood. Now it's no more. A favorite with locals in the Edgewater neighborhood, it shuttered a few weeks ago after eight years in that location. Owner Mariana Cortez opened the spot in 2013. Shortly after, The Food Network came calling and the mother of three was asked to appear on Cupcake Wars. The episode where she came in second gave the company a huge marketing push. The Venezuelan natives' mini colorful cupcakes eventually landed in more than a dozen local restaurants as well as Starbucks and Whole Foods. While you may miss the cheerful one-story space at 23rd Street at Northeast 2nd Avenue, the good news is another Bunny Cakes has opened up in downtown Door L. And yes the building is the same adorable pink color. That's all for today. For more top stories and to subscribe, go to MiamiHerald.com and stay healthy.